Hello, I am Durva Trivedi, student of semester 3, Department of English, Bhaktkavi Narsi Mehta University. As we are a part of Sexperience series video lecture, I am here in the fourth lecture to discuss about background of Hamlet. We are talking about the most influential person in English literature, Shakespeare. His time span is 1564 to 1660. If we talk about Hamlet, then Hamlet is considered as the longest play among his 38 plays and it translated in more than 75 languages include Gujarati, Hebrew, Icelandic and many more. If we talk about historical context of Shakespeare's Hamlet, then Shakespeare was in part of Renaissance. In Renaissance, humanity was spread rapidly in the grammar school and number of children were there to learn classical learning. Few of them are Marlowe, Shakespeare, Spencer and many more. Shakespeare's all his play, drama and sonnets are a part of that classical learning. Entire part of that in Hamlet borrowed from Virgil's end. Moving ahead, the entire part of Christianity that Devo believed that whether to end up life in a hell or heaven, that shows in a Hamlet that Hamlet was definite to all the answer before his death. Secondly, Elizabethan age also reflect in the Hamlet. We know that Elizabethan didn't have a single child. So that was in question who would inherit her crown. The same thing we found in the Hamlet. After the death of King Hamlet, Claudius hastily married to Gertrude and that was disappointed situation for Prince Hamlet. So these are some minor historical background of Hamlet. Now let's take some information about play. Then play first performed in 1601, printed in 1603 and appeared in enlarged edition 1604. If we talk about the genre of the play then it's tragic drama. We found so many tragic element in the play. Beginning of the play the death of King Hamlet which later appeared as a ghost. As play proceed we found that Polonius death, Hamlet's lover Ophelia's death and so many tragic event we found in the play Hamlet. Setting is Alcino, Castle of Denmark. If we talk about the structure of play, then it is divided into five acts. In the first act, there is a five scenes. In the second act, there is two scenes. Third act, there is a four scenes. In the fourth act, we have seven scenes. In the last act, we have only two scenes. Now let's talk about the canonical status, the language. He has used complex sentence, which is difficult to comprehend for readers. But it is both intensive and extensive. Moreover, he has used some figures of speech as anaphora. It is well used to emphasize the happening and emotions of the characters. Another one is hindiders. It is a rare rhetorical device. It combines two words with conjunction. So this type of figures of speech he has used. If we talk about character, then the main character, the protagonist of the play is Hamlet, Prince Hamlet. Second one, one is Ghost. It's a death of King Hamlet, Claudius, uncle of Prince Hamlet. Gertrude, mother of Prince Hamlet and the wife of King Hamlet. Moving ahead, Latris and Ophelia, both are brother sister and Latris is son of Polonius and the Ophelia is daughter of Polonius. If we talk about the main themes, then first one is revenge, second one is truth versus deception. Third one is thought versus action. Fourth one is madness. And fifth one is fathers and relation. So I hope now you have get a little bit idea about Hamlet. Thank you so much.